Here is a fossil ammonite block I found along the Jurassic coast. Not in this vicinity though. The main beach here at Lyme Regis is derived. All that flint rock you can see there, those eroded pebbles you can see on the beach are from the Isle of Wight and they're used as sea defence work here along this particular stretch to defend Lyme Regis. So people looking for fossils there, it's not the right place, so leave those rocks in place. I am actually going on a fossil hunting walk along to the west of Lyme Regis at low tide, and you'll see that later in this video. I'll work hard with some sieves to show you some fossils from a past ancient marine ecosystem. First, I will show you a newly opened local walk into the jungle-like undercliff with its very own ecosystem. Well, I'm taking the steep climb up past the bowling green, and I'll climb these steps towards the undercliff walk. Watch out for that bench there, that looks a bit rickety. I think that's worse for wear. So I'm gonna get up and show you this permissive path. I'll avoid all the tree roots too. There are a lot of tree roots through this section, something to be avoided that really will trip you up if you're not careful. So here's the start of this new walk. I'm heading west of Lyme Regis and here is the first notice board to take heed of at the start of the permissive path. And I'm gonna get down some wooden steps onto the permissive path and you can see that it's a really nice dry spell of weather we've got here in 2022. September has been a really good month for dry weather yet again and I think it's been a good summer and um, the path I'm walking along is nice and dry. I can imagine when it gets wet it could be a bit slippery for walking along so I'm kicking my way along this path watching out for a few bits of flint and rubble, loose on the path itself, but what views you can see there. There's Golden Cap all the way down there in the distance, the highest point on the south coast, shrouded in a bit of cloud. Well, what a beautiful day down in Pinay Bay, you can see there. And if you're watching this particular YouTube video I'm making of this walk in the middle of winter, it's probably dark and rainy, so uh, I hope you're enjoying the sunshine here. The walk you can see with the higgledy-piggledy trees where the particular landslides occur they're very active through these stretches of this coastline and there's a flint outcrop I'm walking up and going past these standing pools of water that are a bit silted up you must be aware of those they're quite silted up and a bit like quicksand in places so keep away as you walk down along the path I'm coming out of the permissive path now back onto the main undercliff walk and I'm coming past the next signpost for the permissive path. I'm gonna turn left here and go down towards a nice little place to have a sandwich before doubling back and coming through the main undercliff walk back through to Lyme Regis. Well, I'm just gonna take a little walk down along this path. I'm looking forward to doing the rest of the round route, the rest of the circular route and going home, but I'll have a sandwich first I'm just going to come down here and stop and see the chalk cliffs up to the right of me, up through the canopy of trees. There's some really stunning, spectacular, very, very steep chalk cliffs to see. I can view that from the path. And then from the path, I will just turn up left where you can see a nice place to sit and a few logs around to sit on and a lovely sea view where I can have a sandwich or a pasty. I'll just see what I've got in my bag. I've forgotten what I've packed already. And uh, I'll sit down here before going back through towards Lyme Regis, heading east, back along the main undercliff walk through the canopy of trees, back to Lyme. And when I get back to the start of the Cobb area, I'm gonna go down onto the beach and walk west looking for fossils up towards Seven Rocks Point, we'll see the Ammonite Graveyard. That's always a fascinating area to see. And then I'm gonna stop and do some sieving. And the sieving work with my green potting sieves will be fun and we'll see what we get. Here's the Ammonite Graveyard, a protected area for everyone to see. It's eroding away rapidly, so see it before it's gone, folks. 
The sea destroys everything as well as revealing the most wonderful of fossils from really large ammonites to really small ones preserved in the pyrite that I'm now going to look for in rock pools along here with my green potting sieves. You can find those online. They've got just the right sieve hole sizes to do the work with in the seawater. I've got quite a bit of iron pyrite up in my sieve. Here's a spot of luck, two little ammonites in the sieve. That's a very water-worn one. The sea does get to these fossils rapidly if you don't find them before they get eroded by the sea. And here's another little one, look at that. Two very small ones, I'm surprised they didn't go through the sieve holes even. One not so badly eroded, the other one looking worse for wear. Here's a lovely big Eretites backlandi ammonite right up at Seven Rocks Point, west of Lyme Regis. This is the area to come and have a look at, fossil hunting wise, at low tide. Well, here's the good old potting sieve with the right sized holes for doing a bit of work on the beach, sieving up little iron pyrite ammonites, maybe a bit of sea lily stem, the crinoid, the animal related to the starfish, and uh, other such uh, wonderful little fossil finds. Let's see what I can get in this rock pool here. There's quite a bit of iron pyrite in there, I can see, scrabbling around. I shall uh, show you what I get into the sieve pot. Well, I'm looking in the iron pyrite, the fool's gold patches on the beach. Some areas are scoured out by the sea's action. Other areas are just pockets of iron pyrite. It's heavy. The ammonites preserved in pyrite heavy. And so they all get accumulated in certain pockets on the beach. The sea doing the work for you. So you've just got to go through the iron pyrite and see if you can find some of the little perfect pyrite ammonites. Here's a wonderful little fossil shell that I found while doing the sieving as well. That really does show you what the marine environment must have been like back all those millions of years ago. The Jurassic Age, that one is from, that fossil shell. I'm pleased with that little find. That was unexpected. I'm really looking for the iron pyrite ammonites, the little ones in golden iron pyrite. There's one, a little perfect pyrite ammonite. Some are so small that they will go through the sieve holes and uh, they are perfectly formed, a lot of them too. Absolutely beautiful fossils from the Jurassic coast that you find at low tide. There is a fossil collecting code of conduct in operation along the Jurassic coast. You can see that online if you want to come fossil collecting at low tide beware of those dangerous cliffs look how steep those cliffs are and blocks of material fall down and it's very very dangerous i'm right down here in pinay bay and above us right at the back that is where the permissive path runs along well, a lot of people ask me what this material is you can see the holes drilled into this limestone rock and there's a particular sea creature called a piddock that secretes a drilling fluid and then it rocks from side to side and burrows through these particular rocks. So uh, it's uh, something quite interesting you see on the beach with those holes on. Other rocks too on the beach. This piece of chert has a conchoidal fracture pattern in it. A lot of people ask me if that's a fossil. No, it isn't, but there does look to be a bit of structure in that rock. Well, while I'm doing the filming, I can see down there in the distance, a seal has popped up and I'm going to walk back that way anyway now because the tide has started to come in. And uh, there you go. I can spot the seal in the water. It looks like it's been swimming around. It's quite plentiful, the fish and other sea life here. And it's a good area, a deep area in the sea that it'll be swimming around looking for things to eat. I'm going towards the cob now to get back home. If you like this short little video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.